Okay, my husband was d when he was 21. Wow. <laughs> you, okay. During those days. <laughs> this is the best years of your life. Why? <laughs> no, no, honestly, because why? I have you. Paper, love. Deep to my questions, love. Ah. Be honest, ha. Love, what do you think is the biggest mistake that you have made in life and what did you do to fix it? Mm, I know. Be uh, honest, it's okay. It's just, you know. <laughs> Having several women in your life. Mm. Okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> No, no, let's talk about that, love. I mean, today I'm not, now, not today, just at this moment, I'm not your wife, okay? <laughs> just now. So, can you share your experience? Not naman your experience, what is your insight? Ang lalaki in general, bakit ganun? Bakit naghahanap pa ng ibang partner or what? Why? Well, I think it's a something to do with the, yung, the relationship with your, halimbawa, your first wife is the uh, relationship uh, harmonious enough to have a long-term uh, relationship or, or may maybe love um at that time you were young pa kasi hindi ka pa ano parang hindi pa but i think young or old if they're really compatible, you know, it will, it's, it's it will boils stay down to compatibility. It, it boils down to compatibility. Is that what makes a marriage work? Yes. Compatibility? Of course. Why? If you're not compatible, di siyempre away na kayo. <laughs> Pero love, marami nagtatanong sa akin na, ah. away sila ng away na mag-asawa. Pero sila pa rin. Because they, there is a making up, the man. Uh, yeah, it doesn't mean that pag away kayo, away, hindi kayo compatible. Uh, mayroong, uh, there's something you cannot explain. Eh. Uh, you cannot explain. So, it I'm, just happened. Okay. So, question. So, yun nga. Um, nang bababae ang isang lalaki because of compatibility. Tama? Mm, well, partly siguro, yeah. Partly. Okay, so dep wala yan sa edad, wala yan wala, sa ano. So wala, guys, wala. narinig yun from his mouth ha, because of compatibility. So, what did you do to fix it? How did I? I did not fix it. Instead of fixing it, you avoid it, you change course. No, I, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, pero kasi bata ka pa nun, okay, fine. Bata ka pa nun, love, and di ba, sa buhay, people make mistakes. And yun nga, kan, isa, opinion mo yun. That's your opinion, and that's what nangyari sa kanya, and opinion niya yun. Pero, love, anong advice mo sa mga nanonood na mag-asawa, na meron yung same issues as what you had? Hmm. Well, if you can keep it forever, that's the best thing that should happen. You keep the family intact, and yeah, Try to, if there are some problems, try to solve them. There is always what you call a making up. Eh. Making up. But it takes two to really... That's what I said. It takes, it takes two. two to really uh, solve problems between husband and wife. Only one-sided. So, kailangan give and take yan. Yeah. Pag walang give and take, wala. Pag walang trust, confidence to each other, wala. But how did you fix it nga now? By finding the right woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's true. Which is, uh, of course, that is uh, that accepts who I was or who I am, you know? But accepts my children. You know? yeah. As my own? Yeah. They're my children, you know, it's because, fun. Because uh, that's what I miss, eh? the family. Now, we are in the Mayagawagang paper. Now, what are the most important things that you've learned in life so far? Most important things that I learned in life? Mm. 
I think the power of prayers and the power of the mind. Why? Why? Well, that's what I have experienced, you know. I always pray. I'm not religious, but I believe in prayers. Uh -huh. Power of the mind. I believe in the science of the mind. Positive thinking, you know. <laughs> uh, it just so happened. Nakakatotoo. <laughs> so, anong lesson sa buhay? Ang... My lesson is, you know, you should have faith. You should, faith. Have, you should believe in prayers. The power of prayer and the power of your mind. Can you give me one example of na the power of prayer is so evident, evident in your life? Well, so recently we had COVID, di ba? Yeah. Mm. And... Uh, I saw you. We always pray together to get well. Yeah. We got well. Huh? That's as far as your our latest experience when it comes to power, uh, to prayers. But I have my other experiences when it comes to prayer. Love, who is the most influential person in your career, and who is your mentor? Hmm. <laughs> He's not a person. He is. He's God. <laughs> oh, say, the most. God. The most, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but it's true. I think God really is. Um, Love, was there ever a time... Oh, I know this. Actually, I know the answer to all the questions. <laughs> was there ever a time when you felt like you wanted to give up? And what did you do to overcome it? I know. Ah, uh, this was a long time ago. Yeah, and I can't believe na you felt that way. Grabe. Well, for a short while, you know. Uh, when Indonesia banned the export of lugs. Yeah. And at that time, we were in timber and we export lugs. Yeah. And they banned it immediately, you know. In less than one year, we stopped exporting lugs. So, naturally, my business is gone. We cannot yeah. export lugs anymore. And then, one night, I felt that, wow, parang it's the end of the world, sabi ko. Parang I wanted to end my life. But I said, sorry for the language, eh. I said, Kiambao, you can make it, you know, you can start all over again. I told myself, you know. Uh -huh. Love, alam mo, ang daming, ang daming tao na pinagdadaanan yan ngayon. Maraming nawalan ng trabaho. Yes, yes, yes. Maraming nawalan ng business because yeah. of the pandemic. Anong advice mo sa kanila? Yan ang gusto kong... Well, they ang... watch the movie or the TV series by Bukas Pa. <laughs> hmm. Hanggat may buhay, may pag-asa. That should be the mindset of people. Uh, ano pang advice mo, love? Because yun nga, ang daming nawalan ng lahat. Well, depend on sa kanilang mga skills or experiences or mission nila sa buhay, di ba? But they can always change course. Eh. Change Limbawa, course. Empleyado ka, na walang ka ng hanap buhay, na walang ka ng trabaho. Ah. Ano ba pwede mong gawin para mabuhay? You can go into, uh, let's say, pwede kang magumpisa ng isang maliit na talipapa. Pwede kang magumpisa ng maliit na, what do you call, pwede kang mag-trading, uh, mag-buying and selling. You know? Marami kang magagawa. Marami magagawa, okay? guys. Pwede kang magtanim ng gulay sa likod ng bakuran mo. Hindi, paano kung nasa kondo? O meron naman sa paso. <laughs> Hindi. Ayun. So, guys, kahit it seems like wala nang hope, there is always hope habang nabubuhay ka. Basta you are strong, able-bodied. And empowered. Uh, yeah, and, and you have the will. There's nothing impossible. Hmm. Kasi, love, akala nila na ang buhay mo smooth sailing. No. 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 Parang weather yan. May bagyo. <laughs> May baha. <Yeah. laughs> O pag nasa aeroplano ka, may air pockets, etc. Ganun lang yan. Never give up. Yeah. Never give up. Hmm. 
Love, any advice to save and manage money? Being a CPA and being a businessman, what is your advice? Well, to me, uh, doing things, uh, the most important is you, you, you focus. You focus on, you believe that yeah, you are good at. Because uh, business is like a life of a person. It's measured on a yearly basis. Business? Yeah? What if wala ka pang business? Sino? Wala pang business yung tao. How do you advise them? <laughs> well, you should learn the basic. How to start a business. What do you need to know in putting up a business? Like what? So for example, if you want to start small, you should know at least a basic, simple bookkeeping. Okay. Huh? Saka yung may tinuturo sa akin yung husband ko before, in order for you to get to expand, you need to borrow. Well, like if you have one peso, <laughs> you can get four pesos. Please explain the analogy, love, because see, when it comes to numbers, I get dizzy. <laughs> well, uh, what do you need when you start a business? Of course, you need capital. Uh -huh. Okay. What, what do you have? How much do you have? Okay. Okay. And what kind of business they want to put up? Okay. Assuming uh, you have a business that you want to start with 100,000 pesos, how much do you have? If you have 10 or 20,000 pesos, you need to raise 80,000. How to raise 80,000? You have many friends. You only have 10,000. 20, example. Okay, okay. So you need to raise 80. Ask your friends who wants to help you. When who wants friends? You can go to the bank. Okay. You can go to the cooperative. You can go to the... Anywhere. Okay. Okay. This is what you call you use other people's money. Well, if you have the capital, then you can start. Diba? It doesn't mean you borrow first. You can you can invite partners para hindi utang. You can have partnership. You know. Well, uh, the rule of thumb. Rule of thumb is people to grow. For you to be big, you should use other people's money. But in a good way, not corruption. <laughs> and okay. rule of thumb usually is banks gives you between twenty. You know. Uh, 60 to 80 percent of your requirements. The banks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if you have one peso, you maybe you can borrow four pesos. To, uh -huh. Then you have five pesos now. If you have five pesos, you can borrow 20 pesos. And then? Yeah, that, that's the formula. That's the ratio. Then you pay them in time. Of course. You have to pay it back. Yeah. But you have to compute. Can you pay it back? So, this is what you call a simple business plan. Or you call it a business model. Yeah. Okay? Nahilo ako sa numbers. <laughs> Pero yan, yan ang mga isang mga bagay na natututunan ko sa husband ko unti-unti na kung paano maging business-minded. So, love, ang advice mo, how will they save money? When should you start saving? Well, first of all, in your plan, uh -huh. you know how much money you're going to make. First, you should know what you want to do. What do you want to do? Be a wife. Well, that's not business. <laughs> Joke, joking, yeah, okay. What do you want to do? And then... What do you want to do? Then start thinking, what do you need? So, what do you need? Usually, people say, I need capital. Okay. Now, when you don't have capital, you go to the bank or you go to your friends to borrow or to be partners. Uh -huh. Then your friends or bank will ask you, what's your business plan? Okay. That is where, in a simple presentation, you're projected whatever, if you are into sales, what is your projected sales, magkanong, magkanong cost, magkanong kikitain. Uh -huh. So, based on that, you follow that plan. Based on the business plan. So, importante, lagi kayong may plan. Of course. That from there, malalaman mo kung anong then next step. Then you follow, step. observe it. Yeah. Okay. How do you man manage each responsibility as a mayor, 
a husband and a father, where do you find the balance? Well, how to balance? Of course, uh, what you call, uh, you're supposed to be uh, rendering service from 8 to 5. So that's the office work. Uh -huh. You go home, be with your family. Weekends, do something. That's how we manage. But because there's COVID, actually, our child here in Mayambang, our only kid with us is Antonio. Diba, love? Our other kids are based in Manila. They're actually grown up already and one has his own family. Um, we haven't really seen them since Christmas, right? Because because of the pandem pandemic and biglaan, diba? But we have one son who visits, visits us here always, Cesar. He's always here in Bayambang because he has his own business. Na rin. So, how do, we, how do we find the time? Um, well, because the pandemic is really the factor right now. Eh. But usually before, when wala pang pandemic, every weekend, as much as possible, we have dinner with our kids. We spend time with them. Diba? So, it's, that's how we balance it out. Diba? Love. What are the most important values that you want to teach your family and your fellow Bayambanggenos? The values you want to teach? I, th I think based on my experience, it's patience, patience, and a lot of patience. Why? 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 Sabi nga ni Eggie, why? Why? Because I believe that, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, it's always time that takes care of the future. So if you are impatient, you cannot reach your goal. future. <laughs> I am impatient. Yeah. How do you become patient, love? I think it's nature. Eh? It's my nature, siguro. Maybe it's inborn. <laughs> so, ako na born talaga akong impatient? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Love, how did you deal with the changes brought about this pandemic? How, how did you deal with it? Live with it. Huh? Live with it. You follow rules. You, you, you follow policies of the Department of Health. You have our, uh, what you call, uh, task force. Uh, handling the COVID-19 management. You have to follow. You as a person, Yun? Yeah. They say you wear a face mask, face shield, wash your hands. There is news pala that COVID is actually airborne. There are no new studies that well, it's airborne. Time will come, COVID will just be like a flu. And you need a flu vaccine every year. Ganun din yan. So, live with it. We have to live with it. You have to That's live with new... it. Normal talaga, no? New normal could be having a face mask, a face shield mm -hmm. all the time. <laughs> but it should not stop us from moving forward. Moving forward always, right? Yeah. Okay, good advice, love. So, now you heard it from my husband. Some of the questions since you guys wanted to get to know him more. Um, I'm so thankful. Thank you, love, for guesting in my vlog and being game to answering the questions and thank you thank you again so much for supporting the Nino Jose Kiambao Facebook page and my husband is my number one fan love why are you supporting this pala <laughs> makes you happy <laughs> and what does it mean keeps you busy <laughs> <laughs> no no ito mga questions dalawa pang question I answer mo, love, what's love for you? <laughs> love, what's love for you? It's a bonus question, guys. Love. No, be serious, ha? <laughs> be serious. Love is... <laughs> Kainis. Ano nga? Very hard to define love. You cannot explain love. You cannot explain. Why? Makes you crazy. <laughs> Love mo ko. <laughs> yeah, you make me crazy. <laughs> so, again, guys, 
Thank you so much for for watching the Nino Jose Kiambao Facebook page. And thank you to my guests, my husband, Mayor Cesar Kiambao. Thank you, class! Okay, so thank you again. And guys, remember that kahit ganito ang buhay natin ngayon at marami tayong pinagdadaanan, we always keep moving forward. At never, never tayo makawala ng pag-asa. And thank you, husband, for giving those words of wisdom because you truly have helped a lot of people. And of course, me. you always give us hope. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much at in our pakabayambang.